Hey guys, coming up is our review of four popular perfumes from Miller Harris. First on our list is Violet Ida Eau de Parfum. The fragrance launched in 2019 and it is powdery floral scent with a touch of vanilla. We have top notes of Italian bergamot and carrot oil. Mid notes are orris butter and heliotrope, set into a base of vanilla and liquid amber. We have a little sample here, so mm -hmm. we're going to give it a spray on me. On Ingrid. <laughs> yeah, I'm already mm. smelling the powdery notes mm. coming through and, and some spicy, interesting spicy yeah. note that the pokes its head through as well. That's all I'm getting at the moment. Mm. Um, it's nice, it's powdery, floral, with a little bit of spice, and maybe that carrot seed that you were talking about, Ingrid. Yes. So, uh, should we do the usual? We do, we do need to. See you in 10. We are back after 10 minutes. Ingrid, how's that settling down? Now, it's settled down, not too very exciting mm. fragrance. Agreed. For me, personally. Um, it's like carrot oil, seed oil mm -hmm. uh, fragrance, and I get some sort of spicy notes coming through. I'm not getting any fruits, like mm. any zingy, bergamot yeah. um, uh, scent or any floral scent or vanilla. I, yeah. I can't get that. I do yeah. get those powdery notes, which obviously yeah. are coming from iris uh, flower and, mm. uh, you know, there is something of that, but some more spice, but nothing else. Yeah. Yeah, I, I'm going to throw in, it smells like the health <laughs> shop that we go to sometimes and we buy bits and pieces in. <laughs> it's, for me, it's, I, I don't like this fragrance at all. Other people may love it. Um, it just doesn't have no, to me, it's not either feminine or masculine. I was hoping it would be a bit more pretty because it was said violet on the name and it was supposed to be powdery and have some iris in it. Um, yeah, I'm quite surprised. And we've given it sort of 10 minutes. Maybe that's not mm. enough time. And, um, but yeah, th there we go. <laughs> so, Ingrid, let's go for seasons and occasions. If you was going to wear this fragrance, when, you, when, you, when should these lovely people wear it? Oh, but based on the fragrance that it mm -hmm. developed to, um, I would wear it in cold season, so it yeah. would be winter, mm -hmm. autumn, mm -hmm. maybe early spring. Yep. As for occasions, this fragrance is very simple, so it, you know, any occasion really. Yeah, just I can't think too wear. much, just yeah, anything and everything, even visiting health shops. <laughs> <laughs> and what do we hear about um, performance? Uh, performance wise, it lasts about four plus hours, mm -hmm. so it's not like brilliant performer, but it will last you. Yeah, it's all right. And finally, we reached the verdict. So you've probably guessed. Ingrid, <laughs> what do you think? Um, not my cup of tea. No. Can I have another smell just in case it changed my mind? No, I, I don't love it because I, I don't really get much of the powderiness and I don't get vanilla or florals mm. or even uh, Italian bergamot or any kind of bergamot. So yeah, surprisingly, it's a thumbs down from me as well. But you can't win them all. <laughs> Number two on our list is Lost in the City, Eau de Parfum. The fragrance launched in 2018 and it is aromatic fruity floral scent composed around rhubarb and geranium notes. Oh, we have top notes of bergamot zest and angelica seed and black currant. Mid notes are rhubarb, rose petals Ooh. and geranium, set into a base of earl grey tea and crisp amber and musk. Ingrid, we have a sample <laughs> that I'm rattling here, allow me madam. So you get yourself squirted with that one. Come in nice little boxes. Yay, well squirted. Oh, I smell that already. I can smell it. Mm, it's nicer this one, we're, we're, thankfully. Beautiful opening, very nice opening. Makes me mm. very, very happy. It's sparkly, juicy, it's like vibrant. Um, it's just like a, the bowl of happiness, mm -hmm. rhubarb and, and florals that are coming through. Mm. It's just how it's supposed, I was kind of, Sometimes you can read off the notes what you think it's going to be, and it's just that, and I don't even have to get near it. It is sort of like slightly sour rhubarb and lovely soft rose mm. at the moment. That's pretty much all I get, and I think that's really lovely opening. Should we uh, do the customary? Yeah, I can't wait to see what it all turns into. We'll see you in 10. We're back after the break. Ingrid, what's that doing? It's doing fantastic. Mm, yeah, I it's love that. It's nice. really well. It's just... It dry down to like meaty, fruity, zesty, rhubarb and other fruits composition with a bit of rose and geranium. It's fantastic. It's mm, beautiful. Oh, it's lovely. Mm, oh, it is nice. It's it's just got better and the beginning was really good. So it's, it's nice tangy rhubarb. So it's kind of a little bit sharp, but a little bit sweet. The rose is really nice in it as well. 
I like the geranium, so it's got a little bit a little bit of green in there, a little bit of spice in there, but it's got soft rose in there as well, and, and of course the rhubarb. So that's all in all, that's a real well-balanced, sort of like fruity, floral, slightly crisp and clean feminine fragrance. Yeah, it's beautiful. Even I would nick. <laughs> Ingrid, the usual, seasons, occasions. Seasons for this fragrance is spring, summer, maybe mm -hmm. just creeping into autumn. Mm -hmm. um, more daytime than evening time, in my humble opinion. Mm -hmm. yeah, um, yeah, daytime. Yeah, and the occasions to wear is very easy going, day to day fragrance. So it would be like shopping trips, maybe, you know, afternoon teas, garden parties, that kind of thing. Oh, and uh, performance, darling. What do what? we read? Performance wise, this fragrance would last you three to four hours. So it's not like boosting performer but you know yeah, it's bad. a pleasant fragrance to mm. wear and you know in the summertime you don't want it to be too overpowering and finally we're at the verdict ingrid what do you think it's thumbs up for me mm -hmm. i love this fragrance quite a bit actually yeah um i love it too i think it's a great spring summer fragrance certainly worth grabbing a bottle um yeah very nice Number three on our list is Rose Silence Eau de Parfum, the fragrance launched in 2015, and it is fruity, musky rose scent. We have top notes of mandarin and blackcurrant. In the heart, we have Turkish Rose Absolute, settling into a base of patchouli and cashmere musk. Give you a spray. A liberal, liberal <laughs> dosing of Rose Silence. Mm. Okay, ingredient is customary, ladies first. Mm, very nice, zesty, juicy opening, yeah. as you would expect. Very rosy. We have we have fruits up and in, in, in the top notes and we have rose just poking through. Mm -hmm. You can you can you can smell it straight mm -hmm. away. Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely a rose fragrance there. Yeah, so it's a little bit zesty at the beginning. Um, a nice amount of rose. It's kind of like a, a soft rose garden kind of rose. Um, should we uh, do the customary? We should. We're gonna let this bad boy dry down and we'll see you in ten. We're back after the break, Ingrid. Rose silence. Oh, it's really, really pretty uh, dry down. It's mm, lovely yeah. rose note, um, slightly, you know, entwined with um, fruit. So you get some fruit, fruity notes and, and you have musk in the background. Mm. Just just about. It's not too much. It's not mm. too overpowering. Yeah. Yeah, it's got that musky, earthy, like the patchouli and, and musk together. Very light underneath mm. coming up. Um, I, like, I, I really do like the rose in this fragrance. I think it's very pretty and just getting a little bit of the fruity berries, but not a lot. So it's mainly sort of like musky rose, to yes. quote. I, th I think that was another yes. brand that we've been doing. <laughs> but um, I think it's Mansira. But yeah, it's really nice, really nice rose fragrance. We, we kind of read a lot of people were comparing it to, um, um, uh, apart from the Mali, Delina. Delina, yes. Yeah. It is kind of similar, I would say. It, it is. Yeah. We gave it the smell, mm. yes, and it does smell very, very similar. Yeah, they, they are quite, quite similar. Easy going daytime rose fragrances. So Ingrid, if you was going to wear Rose Silence, when would you wear it? On what uh, occasion? I would wear it in spring and summer. Mm -hmm. uh, it's that kind of fragrance for me. Daytime, yeah. most likely. Mm. Um, it's very pretty, elegant fragrance. It's sort of like a retro type of scent, rose scent. Yeah. So I would see myself like wearing it to wedding parties, mm -hmm. maybe christening parties, just any type of outdoor parties. Yeah, those kind of daytime parties years ago when the ladies would wear umbrellas in the sunshine, <laughs> yeah. those parasols, whatever they're called anyway. And as for performance, what do we hear, darling? Performance is kind of uh, moderate four plus hours yeah, and enough, yeah. um, moderate sillage and projection as well. So you won't be going for, for following you miles and miles <laughs> behind, yeah. but yes. Yeah, it's not, it's not nuclear, but it's not what you're expecting from this fragrance anyway. And I, I think it does the job really, really well. If you're looking for a nice rose fragrance, you can't go too far wrong. Number four on our list is Pauvre de Soie, Eau de Parfum, launched in 2015. And it is woody, fruity fragrance composed around pear note. We have top notes of bergamot and pear. Mid notes are rum, so I'm quite excited mm. about that. Mm, and peony, settled into a base of birch and cedarwood. We like a bit of booze. We don't, we, we don't mind. Don't tell them that, Ingrid. <laughs> right, okay, we have another sample. Sorry, Ingrid, I'm being a bit slow there. We, <laughs> I'm really fumbling. <laughs> Ingrid's going to spray me because it's the last arm left. There we go. Don't know what we're going to do if we're going to do Ooh. five fragrances, Ingrid, but uh, we'll stick at four. Okay, let me give that a wiggle. Oh, uh, ladies first. That is interesting. Oh, that is interesting. That is really mm. nice. It's just like oh, it's bubbles like of mega madness. Mega powerful. <laughs> really lovely fruity opening. Mm. Fantastic. It's pear. You have yeah. you have bergamot. Mm. It's just as it says on the tin. And a little bit boozy. As usual, 
yeah. making my mouth water because anything with fruit in, I get like really and really like a rabid dog. Um, Ah, oh, that is really, really nice. I like it. I like the, the, the pear in it. There's, it's even a little bit musky. It's a little bit boozy. There's a little bit floral. Uh, really great. Should we uh, do the usual? We, we, we should, yes. See you in 10. So, Ingrid, Poirier du soir. I'm mang <laughs> my mangling <laughs> French. What do you think? <laughs> It's incredible, dry down. And I'm, I'm, I'm saying I, I do like it so much. It's fantastic. It's isn't fantastic. It? It's, really good. it's really rich, um, well blended. It's just sort of, it's got everything in it. It's got like depth, it's got a bit of sparkle, it's got fruits, um, woods, mm. and like a spicy, boozy, boozy yeah. scent. It's, it's, it's incredible. Yeah. It's really nice. So it's, it's really like boozy, woody, fruity, slightly floral. Mm. Um, like it's not it's not zesty anymore, but it is like you've got sweet spicy pear in it as well, and that smells really expensive. And I was really surprised. I'm not really surprised. It's kind of a, you know middle of the range price brand here. Yeah, it's but like what a fantastic job they've done. Well, sorry to jump in. It's like um, matured pear, mm. and it's like been soaked in rum yes. for hours. <laughs> well, you can tell we're excited about it anyway. <laughs> So, so a note to any fra fragrance uh, companies, if you put booze in it, we'll get really excited and give you a good review. <laughs> so, um, performance is six plus hours and projection in Siash is quite good actually oh, because massive. due to spicy sort of and, and woody base. Yeah, lovely, lovely. And finally, as usual, the verdict, Ingrid, what do you think? I love it. Mm. Yes, I love it. It's my cup of tea. Yeah. It's definitely my cup of tea. I like spicy. I like um, woods in it. I like the fruit in it. I like mm. it all. It's just like... Mm. Really exciting fragrance. But it's still quite feminine as well. I mean, it is. even if it's like unisex, I would say mm. it, it leans more feminine. Um, yeah, I really like it. Like, I love the muskiness in it as well. It's kind of, kind of deep, but it's got fruits and florals on top and a, and a bit of juicy pear. Um, yeah, um, it's a thumbs up from me too. Finally, we're at the verdict overall. Ingrid, pick a card, any card. Which one was your out and out favourite of the bunch? Um, two favourites. This Here one is favourite. The, the favourite of the favourites. The favourite of the favourites. Take the other one too. For, for Rare uh, de Soir. Yeah, the pear one. Um, and Lost in the City is my second favourite, which is perfect, fantastic fragrance for day, daytime wear. Excellent choices, madam. Um, I'm just going to whiz through all of them, just to tell you. My least favourite was the Violet Ida, because I just didn't really get it myself. Maybe I'm, my nose is just too... not very good. <laughs> um, the Rose Silence, very pretty rose fragrance. Completely bottle worthy. I think that's really nice. Um, I'm going to go slightly in order. Lost in the City, also fantastic fragrance. Really, really enjoyed it. But the out and out winner for me, probably similar to Ingrid, is the one I can't pronounce, Poirier du Soir. Sorry, France. Um, that's fantastic fragrance. A completely, um, if you want something that's a bit sort of like not mature but elegant and got loads of the depth and layers and changes over time this is it i, I wouldn't say it's a blind buy because um you, you it's worth getting a sample first but i think if you if you like it you'll love it yes this fragrance is certainly has character mm. and it's not your usual fragrance so yeah. you do need to try it before you yeah. buy it but mm -hmm. but you know it's, it's a fantastic choice yeah and if i just dive in the other two fragrances that we did like the rose silence and the lost in the city i think they're just Bottle worthy, blind buys Easy anyway. Going, yes. Yeah, absolutely, I think mm. so. So that was it. Don't forget to check our next fantastic video right there. We'll see you soon. Mm.